Alrighty, this has sound. Let's play the whole thing. No! Breaking the rules doesn't make you a hero. It makes you a screw-up. Take it from me, Luke. One out of a million dropouts become Steve Jobs. Do you know who become losers with no jobs? The other 99,000! No! <laughs> I love this here. The other 99,000! Watch out here. That it, it looks like she's talking to the plant and not the cat. Uh, that's the only thing at the end. But I do love, I do love that. The other ninety nine thousand. Let's bring down the sound a bit here. Now, definitely better. Also cool to see something that she can look at. But again, I think overall it's sometimes a bit missing here. It gets a bit too high. I can just randomly go. This is good. Eyes closed. I think this is better. It's a bit low, but this is good. So just kind of watch out that the eyeline is always kind of there and correct. No! Break. So the couple of things here. No! No, it's one of those where you act outwards, you end up in a twin position, like the whole body feels just a bit mirrored. So there might just be something where, since you already have this, it could be something where, I mean, I know you throw it away, and it's there to point every now and then, and you said it's not animated yet, but watch out, she's really holding this like it's a hammer. This thing is, you know, super thin and, and, and not thick or, you know, it's somewhat fragile. So even if it would be hanging like this, if you animate it with gravity, it just, I don't know. I know she's angry, but I'm wondering if there's a bit of a different pose to hold. There's something where you could have that hand like this, where she's holding it in a different way. And then, no, no, like because of that tension, that's when she squeezes that and you can see the change how how you know it goes from whatever position maybe it starts somewhat limp there and because she squeezes it it the finger squeezing will move up the the rows to be then a bit a bit higher potentially but i think no in terms of making that gesture no i think it's a bit too acting out words i will personally try to find something else no breaking the rules just and then the thing is you have no, no. gesture no. Breaking, Breaking the rules, the gesture. Rules make you a hero. And then hero gesture. I'll be careful. It's just, again, it gets very gestury. So. Breaking the rules. And I don't think. You can easily just have her look. I like have a sharp look, and that is breaking the rules. Like, I don't know what she's pointing at. If that is breaking the rules. I don't know if she needs this. Again, it could just be something that she does with the upper body, shoulders, and the head. The rules doesn't make you a hero. It makes you a screw. I don't mind. You could. If you take this out and this out you could have this because what i like about this is that it almost leads Hero, into that turn was... so you could almost have a gesture like that that goes like this with a slight hold maybe a little bit of a a bend and then going again into a, into a, a more of a stretch not fully arm stretch but kind of almost finishing the gesture which then leads her into a turn i think that could be interesting you a screw up make you a hero what makes you a screw up you a hero what makes you I do like that you use space. So we talked about that before where you use the space in the room. I think that definitely helps. I like that a lot. The steps though. Hero, what makes you a screw up? What makes you a screw up? Oh, there's something about they're like tiny little not tippy toe steps, but Hero, what makes you a screw up? Take it. I'm not sure. I'm I don't I'm not saying that it's wrong and I'm not saying I'm right by by being hesitant about those steps, but there's just something. Hero, what makes you a screw up? I don't know it's because it's time Hero, to makes you a step screw up, up. I, screw up. I don't know. There's something I'm not. I can't quite put the, my finger on it. What is bugging me? Hero, here? What makes you a screw up? Hero, what makes you a screw up? Take it from. Let's leave it for now. I know it's a pain to remove steps and all that stuff, but since this is just me having uh, not a very smart comment here, I'm gonna leave it. Hero, what makes you a screw up? Take it from me, Luke. One out of a million. That's cool. I like that she looks first and then goes. Me, Luke. One out of a million. This is the weird thing where she feels very squatty and, and you know, legs apart with that. I don't know. I'm not sure, again, if I'm super in love with that pose. Take it from me, Luke. One out of a million. Not that it has to be super forceful, but she is somewhat, not pleading, but kind of explaining that this is what's going on. But it just feels like, even with this shape, it feels so harsh. It's almost like it would be a lean, right? And this one is just a bit more like that. And then you have a lean forward where... It's just a bit softer in in the pose versus bam and then with the spread legs there i don't know Luke, one out of a million dropouts become steve job but then you go back up and again it's it, i think it's it's potentially just the bent leg position that feels 
uncomfortable to me. And then when she gets up, it's not really different. I mean, from this pose to this pose, that leg is fairly the same. So maybe that's what I'm reacting to. What if she's more leaning over so that the leg is more like that. This is over and she's leaning over there. And then when she gets up here, the legs are straighter. So she'll be just a bit more tense. Jobs. Do you know who become losers with... That? I don't mind. No. She gets a bit more upset and there's a bit of that in there. I don't mind that. With no jobs, the other night... <laughs> Even that just saw that it just cracked me up again. I love this so much. It's great. And I think it's totally fine to do that at that point throughout the uh, uh, the rows. It could also be something that, now that I think of it, if she does this, when she does that and she goes up like this, maybe she could hold the rows with both hands. I don't know, or just have something where she holds the top and the, and the bottom part. Maybe hold that in a different way. But there's also just something about this constant hammer hand pose holding this. So something else for you to think about. I know it's a pain. Finger detail stuff, but something to think about that maybe you can change some of these where it holds it like this, and it could be something where she goes like that, and then it's more, more like one, like the index and the thumb, and the rest of the fingers a bit more relaxed, and and she holds that, and you know something where maybe that how she holds a rose will change. That's kind of that. No. Breaking the rules doesn't make you a hero. It makes you a screw up. Take it from me, Luke. One out of a million dropouts become Steve Jobs. It's just interesting that she says all that to cats. Dropouts become Steve Jobs. Do you know who become losers with no jobs? The other 99,000. So maybe, I mean, I'm assuming it just fell over and she's upset, but it could also be something or maybe that has been broken. Maybe there's some water there. Do you know who become losers with no jobs? And don't do that, but I was just thinking maybe that at this point the cat loses interest and goes down and starts licking the water. The other night and that's why she gets so upset because on top of that the cat's not listening. I don't know, it's just an idea. Uh, but I'll leave it at that. It's a rambles and no it's but I think it's definitely much better. Let me know what you think about those um, potential changes and how you want to proceed. And that is that. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.